Look bro, I need you to do me a favor. Anything's possible. What's that? It's Damon's stash of ecstasy. Really? It just looks like a bottle of medication. Yes, but it is ecstasy. You're kidding, right? No. He gave these to me to look after for him, because his house is being raided, but I can't keep them in my house, my mom doesn't trust me and she always checks my room in case I have anything bad. So I need you to look after them for me, until Damon texts me to give them back. Okay, I look after them. Good. Make sure to hide them somewhere no one would look. Will do, I'm gonna head back now. Alright, thanks for doing this bro. Where's a good place to hide these? Screw it, I'll just put them in the medicine cabinet, it's not like any of my family will know this is ecstasy. We're back classic are you? Hi. Hi Classic are you? We need you to do us a favor son. Me and your dad need to go to work to sort some things out in a bit. We'll only be gone a few hours, so can we trust you to look after Rosie for us? Sure, but where's Caillou? He's with his friends, so he'll be back tonight. I see, but I'll definitely look after Rosie. That's what we like to hear. I'm gonna go back to my room, shout me when you're going. Ugh, my head is banging, I need some paracetamol. Ugh, where's the paracetamol? But what's that? Hey Rosie, what are you up to? Oh god Rosie, what have you done? Um, 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 um. Look Rosie, I need to know, have you swallowed any of those pills? No. Hey bro, what's up? Um, how many of those ecstasy tablets were in the bottle? Why? Just to make sure I've got them all. Well you'd better had, or else me and you are in huge trouble. I know I know, I'm just wondering how many are in the bottle. Um, ten, I think. Rosie, I know you've taken one of my pink pills, so admit it. Tell me now. Okay okay, I did, I'm really sorry. How are you feeling Rosie? Really, really, crap. Look, about the pink pill, it's best if we keep it as mine and yours little secret, mom and dad won't be happy if they find out about this, okay? Okay. Good. We're back, how are you two doing? I'm fine, but I think there's something wrong with Rosie, she's fallen ill. You alright sweetie? I feel really weird. It's my head. Oh my god, you're burning up. I think you should phone the doctors. Good idea, she was fine a few hours ago, now her temperature's sky high, something's wrong. What happened son? I came downstairs and saw her like this. 
Dad, look. Dora's come quick. What's going on? It's Rosie. She was having some sort of fit. Rosie, wake up. Boris, phone an ambulance now. I'm on it. Classic Caillou, go and get your grandma and brother and tell them to meet us at the hospital. Go, now. What's wrong, classic Caillou? You look shocked. It's Rosie. She's had a fit and is being brought to the hospital. We need to go there as soon as possible. I've already rung Caillou. Well then, you'd better come inside while we wait for your brother. Doris, come sit down. It's no good just standing there gorping. I have to ask you something. Have you or your family left any medication around? I don't care what it is. I really need to know. No, none of my family are on any medication. We sometimes have painkillers but they're locked away in a cupboard out of Rosie's reach. I see. Who was looking after Rosie at the time before she collapsed? My son, classic are you? Young man, do you have any idea of what your sister could have taken? It's no good asking me, I really don't know. Okay. The sooner we know what's in your daughter's system, the better chance we'll have. Chance? What do you mean by that? Is she going to die? It's gonna be alright, Doris. She's in the best place. What are you doing out here? Not much, just thinking. Look, you were the one looking after Rosie, so if she did take anything, now's the time to say. Even if it's anything illegal, now's the time to say. Come on, we're running out of time in there. What happened? She swallowed an ecstasy tablet. What? She swallowed an ecstasy tablet. Stop right there. Is it true what Kai just told us? Yes, but it was an accident, and she wasn't meant to find them. How could you be so stupid? Your sister is probably going to die, and it's all your fault. Tell you what, Doris, you and Kaiyu stay here, I'll take Classic Kaiyu home to sort them out. I'll come with you. Classic Kaiyu, get in the car right now. So, where did you get those drugs from? I was looking after them for a mate. Oh yeah, and where did you put the drugs? I put them in the medicine cabinet. Well that worked. You know what, I'm just angry you brought drugs into our home, let alone nearly killing Rosie in the process. I can't have you living under this roof anymore, and I don't think the rest of us would either. Which is why I'm kicking you out. Kick me out? But where will I go? I don't care. We all want you out. So go and pack your stuff. Son, what do you think you're doing? I'm doing what I should have done a long time ago. But you can't kid him out. He's your son. Yeah, well he nearly killed my daughter. He's not safe. But that doesn't mean you should chuck him out of his own home. But mom... Me and Doris have tried everything with him, even the police have had to step in, but still, nothing. Still doesn't mean you should chuck him out. I mean, if he's on his own, what do you think he'll do? He'll just wreak more havoc. Not my problem. I can't believe you just said that. 
Look, he needs watching, so he doesn't get into any more trouble, tag's the problem. Well I think it's a bit too late for that. He's going, and that's final. Well I wouldn't see my grandkids on the street. He'll have to stop with me. Fine then, you take him, if you think it's any good. I will, and if there's any good in him, I'll just have to drag it out. Have you got all your stuff packed? Yeah. Good, because you're coming with me. Eh? Listen, don't even think about talking back to me, you're coming with me and Tat's final. Come on, let's go. Morning, Gran. Oh good, you're you up. How did you sleep? To be honest, not great. Well that's your fault for being stupid. Do you think they'll ever forgive me? I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Son, you nearly killed your own sister. But I wasn't intending to kill her, I would never do that. Well you shouldn't have got involved with those drugs in the first place. I mean it son, this is all down to you, you've got no one to blame but yourself. Now go and make yourself useful and bring your dirty clothes down. Okay. Classic Caillou, can you come here please? Take this tenner and go get me some more milk. Okay Gran. If there's any change left, then you can buy yourself some sweets. Thanks, Gran. Hey there, kid. Um, who are you? I'm the one who gave your friend some ecstasy tablets to look after for me, and he told me he gave them to you. Right, about that. Could you follow me, kid? I'm not gonna hurt you. Um, okay. So, um, why have you brought me here? So, how are you feeling today, Rosie? To be honest, a whole lot better. Good morning, Rosie. Are you okay? Yes, much better. Thank you. Good. You'll be pleased to know that you can go home today. Really? Yes, you can go at lunchtime if you want. But Doris, I need to speak to you about something, outside. Okay, sure. So, what is it you need to tell me? Well, you see, it's about your son, Classic Caillou. What has he done this time? Well, it seems like someone beat him up really hard. He is currently in A&E with bruising on his face, a broken nose, cracked ribs, and a broken arm. Oh my god, that's awful. When can I see him? Well currently, he's having an operation, so you won't be able to see him until this evening. But for now, I suggest you take Rosie home and tell your family about all this. Okay, thank you nurse. Thank God we don't have to go back to that hospital for a while. Actually, Boris, we have to. Wait, why? It's classic Caillou. What about him? Well, I got told by the nurse that he got severely beaten up and is currently in an operation. He has some serious injuries. To be honest, serves him right. How can you say that? He's our son. Well, I wish he wasn't. He nearly killed Rosie. I mean yeah, he's done some messed up things in the past. But we need to go see him tonight. Are you serious? Yes, and you're gonna come with me. Why? He's in the best place, he doesn't need us there. Boris, we've nearly lost Rosie, and right now I'm not prepared to lose another child. Fine, you go, but I'm staying at home.
with our two well-behaved children. Fine. Just shows what kind of father you are. Doris, I've literally tried everything with classic Caillou, but nothing will ever make him see sense. Whatever, I don't want to argue with you. What's going on? Where am I? And why does my face hurt so much? It's okay classic Caillou, you're in the hospital, you got severely beaten up. What? I don't remember anything. It's okay, don't get yourself worked up, just relax. Mom, what are you doing here? I heard what happened to you, and I wanted to see you so bad. But why, after everything I've done? I still care about you son. Even though you have done some bad things. I don't deserve to be your son, I've put all of you guys through so much. That doesn't matter right now. I'm sorry for letting your dad kick you out of the house, and I think it's best if you come home. Home? I can't go back there, not after what I did, they'll all resent me. Look, it'll take a while for everyone to come round. That you need to give it time and prove how sorry you are. What do you say? I'll come home, and I'll be better. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm gonna stay in the hospital until you are discharged, then we'll go home. Welcome home. I hope you've been humbled, judging by the state of you. Don't start on them now, Boris. Whatever, I'm going for a smoke. Why don't you go for a bath, son? Okay, Mom. What the hell, Mom? Why is he here? He lives here. But I thought you and Boris chucked him out. I didn't kick him out, your dad did. So why is he back here? Look at the state of him. Earlier this week, I could have lost two of my children. I'm just glad they're both alive, even classic Caillou. But he nearly killed Rosie. I know that, but he's still part of our family, and he is truly sorry. So if I was you, shut up, and get used to it. Fine, but don't expect me to be nice to him. Just going to school now, Mom. I'll see you when I get home. Okay, Caillou. Have a great day. For the last time, Dad, I'm not going to school. Yes, you are. Get up and get ready right now. No, who do you think you are? I'm your dad, and don't ever speak to me like that. Have you no respect? What's going on here? Will you tell this brat to get his ass out of this room and get ready for school? First of all, there was no need to raise your voice at me. Second of all, maybe shouting at him won't get us anywhere. You know what? I'm done with all of this. It's obvious you know what you're doing. So I'm taking Rosie to school. So what's making you not want to go to school? Because it's a waste of time and energy. You're just being lazy. I don't want to go to work today either. But I have to. Just like you have to go to school. But you get money out of going to work, you don't with school. That's true. But you need to go to school to get good grades, or you'll end up living on the doll. Suits me. Have a good day, Doris. If you want to be like that. Huh, there's your laptop. It would be a shame if I took it. Take it, I'll just get it when you're not looking. Well, screw it. I give up. So, did he eventually get to school? No, he just kept on talking back to me. I even threatened to take his laptop away, but that didn't work either. He just keeps getting worse every day. I know, and I'm really getting fed up of it. I just don't get why he does all this. Me too. Anyway, I'd better go. I'll see you tonight. See ya. I just don't get what makes him the way he is. I mean, I was never like that when I was a child. I agree with you.
I personally think you should try a different approach. Like what? I don't know. I've never been in this situation before where my kids behave like entitled turags. But then again, parenting was a lot easier when you were a kid. If you stepped out of line I was allowed to hit you. But times have changed. I know right. If the law wasn't such an asshole, then we'd get a better grip on him. You probably would. I've just had a thought. Go on. Why don't you try family counseling? We don't need that. We just need to deal with our son. I know, but maybe the counselor might help you get to the bottom of why classic Caillou is the way he is. I suppose it's our only option. All right then, I'll ring them later. Oh, you're back. What took you so long? I went to go see my mom. What about? Well, I thought I'd tell her about classic Caillou and see if she could give us some advice. What did she say? She suggested family counseling. Family counseling? Why? Well, she said maybe the counselor could help to get to the bottom of why classic Caillou acts like he does. I see. So are we going through with this? Yeah. Mom said she would phone for one tonight, so all we have to do is wait until we get a letter giving us more detail. I see. I hope this works. What's for tea, Mom? I don't know. Sit down, I need to talk to you about something. Okay, what about? Read this. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, We have arranged for Councillor Derek to come to your house on the 4th of August at 2 o'clock. Make sure your entire household are in at that time. Many thanks, the Go Animate Counseling Team. Counseling? Seriously? Look, it was your grandma who organized it. You're always acting up all the time, and it's like we can't get through to you anymore. The arguing, the shouting, you and your brother physically fighting. We just can't get through to you anymore. Oh poor Boris and Doris. Oh, just letting you know, I definitely won't be here on Saturday afternoon, you can all talk to the stupid counselor yourself. Hi. Come in. Follow me. Hello there. Good afternoon, sir. Um, is this the whole family? No. Rosie, our daughter is out with her friends, and we thought it would be best if she did. Oh, I see. I got told there was another member of this household. Yeah, I'll call him down now. Classic Caillou, come downstairs. What do you want? Oh, don't tell me that's the counselor you were on about. Hi there. My name is Derek. I'm here to help you and your family. Good luck with that. Shut up, Classic Caillou. There's no need for your smart remarks. All right. I think we should all start off by introducing ourselves. I'll start with you, the guy in the green hoodie. Okay. My name is Boris. I'm 40 years old, and I work for a financial advisor company. Very good. Now what about you in the red jumper? My name is Doris. I'm the same age as my husband, and I work in a florist. Very good. Now let's hear from the boy in the yellow hoodie. I'm Caillou, I attend the Matrix High School, I like going to the gym and playing video games. Excellent, now what about the boy in the grey shirt? How the hell is this helping? I want to get to know all of you, so I can understand you all. What are you on about, we don't even need you here. I appreciate you don't think that, the hardest part of all this is admitting you need help, I understand it can take time. Oh shut the hell up. Why don't you? You're literally the reason why he is here, have some respect. How dare you? It's no good getting angry at me, it's not our fault you're out of control.
What do you think you're playing at? I don't know, it's just all of this is too much. That doesn't matter. You were out of order punching your brother. It's just no one understands me, you never spoke to me about how I felt before all of this counseling. It's because we are all nearly ready to wash our hands of you. You're out of control. I know I am, but I need help from my family, not some stranger. We've tried and tried to help you, but it's like we can't get through to you. I don't know, it's all a mess. Maybe Derek can help us. But you need to comply to what he says. Okay fine. Good. We'll be seeing him again next week, so please listen to him. Classic Caillou, wake up, it's time for school. Come on Classic Caillou, you'll be late. Well go on, get going. Goodbye Mother. He called me Mother. Here he is. In the flesh. Can't wait to smoke Mr. Johnson in maths. What do you mean by that? Oh you know, this school, it's like a game. Wait a minute, have you had a drink? You bet, but only a little bit. <laughs> you're unbelievable. You there, you're gonna be in so much trouble. You look wasted already. Oh come on, it's a democracy, I can do what I want. Come on, let's get this over with. Alright class, today we will be learning about quadratic sequences. Quadratic sequences? More like dramatic sequences. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Classic Caillou, tag your first warning. Thank you sir, also, I need to get something off my chest. Go on, what is it? I just wanted to say, that, I don't really see the point in school, I mean. Why are we required by law to learn freaking quadratic sequences? Because you need your qualifications. Yeah, but I couldn't imagine the Prime Minister doing quadratic sequences in the Houses of Parliament. I mean, think about it, none of the stuff we learn really helps us, and exams are based on what we remember and not our skills. To be brutally honest, the government are a bunch of hypocrites. Classic Caillou, have you been drinking? What? Alcohol? I've never even seen the stuff. Sit down, I've heard enough. Oh thank you sir, and can I just say... Classic Caillou, if you want to stay in this class, then I suggest you shut up. Oh. I'm sorry love. As I was saying, I'm gonna write some examples of quadratic sequences. Sir, can I go to the bathroom? I don't feel so good. No, not after that ridiculous performance. But sir, I need to vomit so bad. I don't care. Fuck this. <coughs> Drink this. I don't want it. Fine. Just letting you know your mother is on her way to pick you up, and you will be suspended for the rest of the week. You know this school doesn't tolerate students under the influence of alcohol. Yeah, whatever. I'm serious. You're also too young to be drinking, so therefore, you've broken the law yet again. Oh spare me the lecture. Come in. Good morning mother, how are you? You're in serious trouble young man. You can take him home now, I don't want to see him for the rest of the week. Yay, let's go home. Classic are you, 
How dare you go to school drunk? Okay, I get it. You're very disappointed in me and I'm grounded, 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 grounded for 12 quintillion 837 quadrillion 237 trillion 834 billion 853 million 492,375 weeks. I'll go to my freaking room. Wow, you got me the new iPhone. Thank you so much everyone. You're welcome Caillou, happy birthday. Come on everyone, let's go for something to eat. Yay, today is my birthday. I hope mom and dad have got me some good presents. Good morning guys. Oh, good morning classic Caillou. Um, are you forgetting what day it is today? Huh? What do you mean? Well, today would have been 14 years since I was born, so that means it's my birthday today. No shit Sherlock, we know that. Then why aren't you wishing me happy birthday, or giving me presents? Do you really want us to explain to you? Well, yeah. Okay. You've been nothing but a little prick all year. You do bad things like steal, bully people, vandalize places, small queed, and much more. And today is nothing to celebrate. Fourteen years ago I gave birth to some monster. I wish I had boarded you. Now go back to your room, you selfless idiot. <laughs> Piss off. Hey, little bro. Look what's in my hand. Oh, don't do this to me now. I'm not in the mood. Well I thought I'd just let you know what a complete loser you are. I mean, look at you. No one's wished you happy birthday. Not even your family. How does it feel to be scum to everyone? Alright. You've said enough. Get out of my room right now. Sorry. Have I struck a nerve? Oh my god just get out of my room you arrogant bastard. Classic Caillou, don't you dare swear at your brother again. If I hear another peep out of you you're grounded. Well. I'd best go. See you later, loser. <laughs> All right, classic Caillou, we've had enough. You're grounded until you turn 16. Please, for the love of God, shut your mouth. Oh, for goodness sakes. I hate my family so much. They bully me all the time, especially Caillou, he's a complete jerk, I wish there was a way to make him pipe down. I know, I'll smash his phone, we'll see who's laughing then. Hey bro, you enjoying your new phone? Yeah, this is more than what you'll ever have, no oh, really. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Who's the loser now? Hey, what's going on up here? Mom, classic Caillou just stormed in here and threw my phone out the window. I'm gonna go see what the remains of my phone are. Wipe that smirk off your face. Follow me downstairs now. So me and your father can talk about your punishment. Hey honey, did you see what that noise was all about? Oh you bet I did, and I know the person responsible for it. What happened? Well, 
Classic Caillou's only gone and thrown Caillou's new phone out of the window. Classic Caillou, you little brat. I think he should pay for a new phone and window. Yes, good idea. So Classic Caillou, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm not sorry if that's what you mean. Caillou is an arrogant jerk, and I wanted to wipe that stupid smile off his face. For 14 years, he has made my life a living hell. What I did today is nothing compared to the life I've had with him, and you all, and this shitty family. And if you think I'm paying for the damage, think again. I owe you all nothing. How dare you speak to us like that? It's not our fault you're a little thug all the time. And yes, you will be paying for the damage, or else we will kick you out of this house. I suggest you start looking for a job right now, or else. Now get out of our sights. I hate you all so much. Hey guys. I'm home. Well don't just sit there and gawp at me like you always do. Say something. Okay then. Me and your mother need to have a serious talk with you. Go and sit down. Me and your mother got a phone call from your head teacher today. He said this past week you have been causing a lot more trouble lately. You've been turning up to lessons late, failing to submit homework, shouting homophobic slurs around the school. And, he said today you really crossed the line by punching some kid in the stomach. And all this, is completely out of order. I need an explanation right now. Why did you punch that kid? Because he was being an annoying little prick who needed to be humbled. When you say annoying, what was he doing exactly? I don't know, he just was. So what you're saying is, him just breathing the same air as you was annoying, his face was annoying, his existence was annoying, is that right? Pretty much. Wow classic Caillou, just wow. And why were you shouting homophobic comments around the school? We thought we brought you up better than that. Jeez, I was only kidding. Well that's not what it sounded like. Apparently you were making fun of these two girls because they were both dating, and, you kept on shouting the F-A-G word in the hallway. It's just my opinion, and if you all can't deal with that, then piss off. Well your opinion is completely messed up, and if you keep that attitude up, people will get hurt. I really couldn't give two craps. Well then you're just a spoiled brat. And let's not get started with you being late to your lessons, because we know you go into the bathrooms and vape. Yeah well, I need something to get me through the day. That's no excuse, and you keep failing to submit homework as well. What's your excuse? Well, homework is half of my energy wasted on random knowledge. Look at you, you think you're so clever. This has got to stop. Your mother is right. We keep giving you chance after chance but it seems to backfire on us. Look at you, it's like you don't care. This is not how we raised you. Now go upstairs to your room now, while we decide your punishment. What? The actual frick? My room is destroyed, and it's all thanks to my horrible parents. No. I can't believe this. All my things are destroyed. First they take my laptop. Now I don't have a bed to sleep on. Why? So honey, what do you think we should do now? I mean we've already destroyed his bedroom and taken his laptop. Shall we ground him like we always do? I don't know. Every time we ground him, he'll always think of a way to get revenge on us. I just think we should try a different approach. Like what? We've tried everything. We've had the police involved, the school involved, and even a therapist involved, if only they can make it legal to hit your kids again. That's true, it worked for me and it worked for you. What are you thinking about? 
Well, maybe, we've been a bit too hard on him. Have you lost your mind or something? He's done so many unspeakable things, and you want to try a softer approach? Maybe, I just feel like there's more to his behavior than what we think. Perhaps we've been a bit neglectful. Oh no, no, he needs to be punished. I'm thinking about things differently, maybe he needs to know that we want to try and understand him and see what we can do to make him realize this isn't how he should behave. What are you thinking of doing, are you just gonna talk to him? Well, yes. And you really think he's gonna want to talk to you after you just destroyed his room? I'll talk to him tomorrow when he's a bit more calmer. Let's be honest here, when has Classic Caillou ever been calm in a situation? You know what? Two can play at that game. Hey, get your hands off me now. No, do you really think we're gonna let you do more damage than you already have? Mom, phone the police. Well classic Caillou, here we are again. It seems like you've got a bit of a temper on you. I don't need to go over the cell arrangements, because you should know by now. Also, you've got some visitors who want to speak to you. Well I hope you're here to bail me out. What you did to me today was out of order, so you owe me big time. We don't owe you anything anymore, what you did today was unacceptable, and thanks to you, we're gonna be in debt because we have to pay for the damages. So if anyone owes anyone anything, it's you. And also, me and your father were talking earlier, I was ready to ground you, but your father convinced me that we should try talking to you instead. Yeah, I would have waited until tomorrow morning when things calmed down, so we could all sit down and try to salvage something, but no, you decided to go berserk, I now realize you're just not worth it. I have to agree with everything your dad had just said. Don't expect a home to go to when you get out of here, which won't be for a while. Come on honey, let's leave this waste of oxygen. I'm bored honey, it's a nice day out today, shall we go out? Great idea, where do you wanna go? Um, let me think. I think we should go to the bar, leave the kids here by themselves. Great idea. But I don't know if I can trust Classic Caillou. He might misbehave while we're away. Nah, we haven't heard a peep from him for a while, and who would turn down an opportunity to go to the bar? Good point. I'll go get my purse. Now I'm ready to teach my family a lesson once and for all. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Hold it right there. Whoa, 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 son. Calm down. Don't do anything drastic. No. I'm taking you all hostage. This is my revenge to you all. You all better do as I say right now. What's going on in here? Oh my god, is that a gun? That's right, Ginger Rosie. This is a gun. And you'd better not scream or else I will use it. I'm only 11. You can't kill me. Well, I won't have to if you shut your mouth and do as I say. Haha. <laughs> That's not even a real gun. Would you like to find out? Oh please, if it is real, then it's not loaded. 
Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Caillou, I'd suggest you don't speak, not just for your sake, but everyone else's. Alright, I want everyone on the floor now. How long are you gonna keep us here? When I've searched this house for all your money. Why do you want money? Because I'm getting out of here, once and for all. But you're only 14, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you won't be able to buy a house or anything because of your age. Ever heard of a fake ID? So why are you keeping us in prison for a while when we can just hand you all the money we have? There's no need to torture us like this. There's every need. Think of it as justice for me, for the shitty life you've given me. I'm finally getting what I like to call justice. Please son, if you want money, just take it and leave, and we'll forget you ever existed. No, I'm just about starting to enjoy myself. Okay you win. We are all so sorry for the way we've treated you over the years, and any money, you want, you've got it, we'll make sure of that. Nice try mom, I know you're just scared. But it's true what she just said. Son, you've got to listen to us. Actually I've changed my mind. I'm going to shoot you all. <laughs> wow, you really think you're hilarious don't you? You're a complete psychopath. Hey, you'd better shut your mouth before I put a bullet through you. You know what, just do it. Let's see if you're man enough to pull the trigger. Very well then. That's odd. There's no sign of anyone answering. Oh for God's sake, use that at the door. Aren't you gonna answer it? Hell no. They'll leave us alone. Classic Caillou, please stop this. I'm really scared. Shut up, Ginger. That's so weird. Even the car is on the drive. I'll go check the window. Um, Joseph, come look. Holy crap, it looks like Caillou's been shot. Justin, phone emergency services right now. I'm gonna see if I can ring the house's telephone. Okay, I'm on it. Oh, for God's sake, who's that? Aren't you gonna answer it? Shut up. Screw this, I'm gonna answer it. Get back here, Dad. Look, could you get over here as soon as possible? I need the police here as well. I can hear gunshots inside the house. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. So, um, did anyone answer? Of course not, you idiot. It's obvious there's a hostage going on in there, and the line has been cut off. Look, man, I know you're worried, but if you shout, whoever's in there with the gun could come out and shoot us. We can't be seen. You're right. I'm sorry. I just feel so useless being out here doing nothing. Don't be so hard on yourself, bro. We've done everything we can. Classic Caillou, what have you done to Dad? Well, put it this way. You won't be hearing a peep out of him anymore. No, you can't do this. Not Dad. He's not dead, is he? You've gone too far, son. Please, just let us go. Never. Alright then, why don't you shoot me and just let Rosie go? She's only young. Well that's just too bad, because I am not letting any of you go. You said you wanted money, well, I'll go get it for you, you can have everything, cash, credit card, anything. Nope, you're just pleading for your life. I'm pleading for Rosie's life, please, just let her go. Nope, I should just kill you all now. What the actual frick? Let's go catch this scumbag once and for all. This is the police. Let your hostages go right now or we will come up there and shoot you. 
Note. Do my guys get up there right now? Holy crap, do you think it was classic Caillou with the gun? He's being arrested, so probably. I can't get over how evil he is. Look there's Caillou. No, don't tell me he's been shot. Wait there's Boris. This is so bad, where's Doris and Rosie? Doris and Rosie, you don't need to stay here if you don't want to. You're safe now. Your son is going away for a very long time. What about my husband? And what about Caillou? Are they both dead? They're being rushed to the hospital now. The good news is they're both still breathing. Take us to them. We can't do that at the moment. They're being treated. How did you know all this was going on? I mean, classic Caillou destroyed the phone. Well, we got a call from two teenage boys saying they were hearing gunshots. They're standing outside now if you want to go talk to them. You guys have just saved our lives. I can't thank you enough. You don't have to thank us. We just hope you're all okay. You two just saved our lives. How can we ever repay you? It was nothing honestly. If it wasn't for the pair of you, the emergency services wouldn't have been aware of what was going on. We owe you a debt of gratitude. Thank you. So, what's happened to me with Boris and Caillou? They're being rushed to hospital now to get an operation to get the bullets out of their bodies. Can we see them? Not until after the operation, I'm sorry. Doris and Rosie, is there anywhere else you can go? A relative perhaps? You shouldn't have to go through this on your own. There is actually. Do you want us to take you there? Please. Okay, ready when you are. Are you guys okay? Don't worry about us, focus on your family. Please could you give us a call about Caillou and Boris once you have news? Of course I will. And thank you again. What you two did today was very brave. Don't mention it, look after yourselves. We're ready now. Okay, let's go. Doris? What's the matter? It's bad, really, bad. You'd better come in. So tell me, what's happened? Well, today was meant to be a normal day, me and Boris decided to go to the bar, until classic Caillou comes in with a gun. A gun? What did he do? Well, he started threatening us with it, and takes us all hostage. Boris and Caillou try to defend us, but that little monster shot them. Oh no, where are they now? Are they still alive? They were being rushed to the hospital to get the bullets out of their bodies, but they were still breathing when the ambulance took them. Oh my god, that's bad. And where's classic Caillou now? The police took him. If it wasn't for Caillou's friends showing up, we would have all been dead, and he would be out of the country. When you say out of the country, what do you mean by that? He wanted us to give him all of the money we have, but, he got too carried away. He didn't just want money, he wanted us to suffer. Oh that filthy little toe rag. I'm so angry with him, I hope he gets locked up for life. He is a complete psychopath. I know, I can't believe I raised a monster like him. I'll never forgive him for putting you all through this, just imagine what this has done to you all, especially Caillou and Rosie. I know. Rosie was absolutely terrified of him. Mom, is classic Caillou going to prison? He will be, yes, for a very long time. There's no need to be scared of him anymore, he's out of our lives for good. I know, but what if he breaks out of prison? Well he won't. He will be going to a top secure prison, so if he tries to break out, he'll be killed. Why don't you go for a lie down darling, let me and your mother talk. Okay. That poor girl, I hope she's not damaged by this, she's so young. I'm gonna make sure she's well protected now. 
Hello? Hi Sally, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? Caillou's in hospital. What? Why? Well, basically, Caillou's brother took the whole family hostage and shot Caillou in the process. Luckily, me and Joseph turned up at Caillou's house and were able to call an ambulance and the police. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. He's still alive, right? The last I heard was that he was still breathing, but needed to be rushed to intensive care to get the bullet out of his body. What about the rest of the family? Are they okay? His mom and his sister came out alright. But his dad was shot as well, they're both in intensive care as we speak. Will I be able to see Caillou yet? Not until after the operation, so we won't see him until this evening. Okay, are you and Joseph gonna go to the hospital tonight? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I'll see you there, thank you for telling me. It's all right. I'll see you later. Goodbye. How did the operation go? The doctors are saying some of his organs are damaged, so he might need more medication before he wakes up. So does that mean he might not wake up for a few days or something? I don't know, but if he wakes up now, he'll be in so much pain. I'm gonna go check on his dad. I hate seeing him like this. This is all thanks to his freak of a brother. Too damn right. I hope that bastard gets what's coming to him. Come on Caillou, you can do this. You're the strongest man I know. I love you. And we all want you to wake up, so please, wake up, I know you're there. I'm sure he'll wake up soon, at least he's still alive, tag's the main thing. I just can't stand seeing him like this. Please Caillou, wake up, I miss you, you mean everything to me. I love you so much. What's going on? Why am I in so much pain? Oh my gosh, Caillou, you're awake. What am I doing here? Well, you got shot, but it's okay now. The doctors have took the bullet out of your system. Oh yeah, I remember now. It was classic Caillou. You don't have to worry about him anymore. The police have took him away, hopefully for a very long time. That makes me happy to hear. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's not a problem, my love. I'm so happy you've woken up. Me too. If I wasn't in so much pain. Don't worry about it. The doctor will give you some medication for it. Oh good. Where are my parents? Sadly, your dad was shot too. Your mom and your sister are with him now. We said we'd stay here with you. Oh no. That's bad. Is he okay? He's doing alright. You just focus on getting better. I will. I can't thank you guys enough for being here. This means a lot to me. Well you mean a lot to us, especially me. So I was thinking, we should go to the nearest petrol station, steal a lot of booze from there, and just crash at your place, how does that sound? That sounds good bro, where do you wanna meet? I'll meet you outside your house, hopefully I manage to sneak out successfully because I'm still grounded. Okay bro. I'll see you in a bit, good luck. So, um, how do I do this? Nah fuck it, I'll just jump out the window, it won't kill me. Hey bro, you ready? I'm ready. Then let's go.
Man, this is gonna be the best New Year's Eve ever. I've never been drunk on a night like this. Neither, do you wanna play some COD until midnight? Sure. Hey honey, what are you watching on TV? I'm just gonna watch the news at 10, then there's a film on until the New Year's countdown. Sounds good, I'll watch it with you. Good evening, and welcome to the final breaking news of 2023. Tonight's story is about two teenage boys shoplifting this petrol station, where they stole a lot of alcohol. I am gonna be joined here tonight by Officer Simon, who will fill us in on more detail. So Officer, could you tell the people at home watching about these two kids? Well, after looking at the CCTV footage, I saw one of the kids was a well-known troublemaker who has the biggest criminal record in this city. And I think all the viewers at home know who he is. He also had an accomplice, and it was pretty clear they were only after the booze. Classic Caillou Anderson, wherever you are, I will catch you and your friend. That's all I have to say. Thank you, officer. And that's all the new stories for now. This is me, signing off. Happy New Year. <laughs> Classic Caillou, get down here right now. Why isn't he coming down this time? I'll go check his room, he's probably too scared to show his face. Well great, he's not in his room, so we don't know where he is. Wait a minute Boris. The police officer said he was with a friend, so I guarantee he's at Josh's house, and I know his address because we've been there plenty of times. You're right honey, I'm gonna call the police and send them over to Josh's house. Looks like you two have had a few New Year's Eve drinks. Get up, you're both under arrest. Oh for fuck's sake, it looks like I'm gonna have to carry you both into the car. Classic Caillou, we can't believe you got arrested and drunk on New Year's Eve. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh. My. God. Shut. The fuck up, you big pair of bastards. I'm trying to sleep. I don't. Need you two waffling. Please leave. You know what? We should come back tomorrow when he's sobered up. He's not gonna listen to us in this state. That's a good idea, honey. We'll be back tomorrow, Classic Caillou. Yeah, well, I hope you die in a car crash, you rotten scumbags. <laughs> Happy New Year. For your punishment, I will be confiscating your phone and laptop. I hope you learn a valuable lesson from this. For God's sake, there was no need for him to go over the top. It was Rosie's fault why I hit her, she's just a little brat. I hate this house so much, and I hate my family. I wish I could have as much money as possible so I can move out of this shithole. And it's not like I can get a job either because 1, they pay shit money, and 2, given my track record, no place would hire me, I don't know what I could do. This is absolute bullshit. Hey bro, are you alright? Nah, I need money, a lot of money. What for? So I can move out of my family's house and get away from this shithole. Are you serious? Too damn right I am, this isn't a joke. Well, I actually know a way you can get some serious cash and fast. Really? What is it? Well, you know Damon. Damon? But he's the one who beat me up because my stupid sister swallowed one of his pills. Don't worry, he deals with people like that every day, he probably doesn't even remember you. But anyway, me and him are looking for someone to help us with our deliveries, so, I was thinking maybe you could join us. Deliveries? What kind of deliveries? Oh you know, the devil's lettuce, the Mary Jane, get my drift? Oh yeah, I get where you're coming from. But I don't know, is it worth the money? Well, 
put it this way bro, my mom didn't buy me these chains, if you know what I mean. Oh, right, so it's good money then? Oh yeah, you can earn some serious money if you join us. Well then, that's great, I'll take the job. Great. You'll need to meet me after school. Oh and remember, don't tell anyone about this, if your mom asks where you got the money, just say it's from dropshipping. Don't worry, I won't say anything. That's good. So, um, would I get freebies if I start working for you and Damon? Of course you will. Anything we don't sell we just keep. Fair enough, I can't wait. Set kid, coming. Um, Joseph, who's the kid? It's my friend Classic Caillou, he wants to help us with the deliveries. Oh I see, well then Classic Caillou, answer me this, can you keep a secret? Sure, I won't tell anyone about this, no way. But I do have one question though. And what is that? How much money will I be earning? Well it depends on how much you can sell. And one thing you must know about this business, is that you can't disappoint customers. Oh I see. Well then great. You're one of us now. Is anyone up for a join before we head out? Sure. Sure. Excellent. Alright, do you guys know where you're going? Yeah, I think. Good. Stay safe guys. Have you got the stuff? I need your money first, have you got it? Here. Yeah. Alright, take whatever you want. Hey bro, how are you getting on with the deliveries? Pretty good. I've sold nearly everything, I'm just gonna finish this joint and then head home. Nice, what do you think of the money? It's great, I've earned a few hundred quid tonight. That's great bro, I told you this is the way. Yeah, are we doing this tomorrow night? You bet. I've gotta go now, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm home. What time do you call this? And what's with the bag? Oh, well it's just, um, textbooks. I need textbooks so I can revise for my exams. Oh okay, it's good that you're making an effort, well done. Yeah, I'll be in my room. Did you smell that? Of course I did. He hasn't been buying textbooks or anything, I think I know what he's up to, and why he has that bag. Me too, it definitely has something to do with weed, and possibly other drugs. Why didn't you say something or act like you had any suspicion? Because we are gonna play him at his own game. And how are we gonna do that? It's simple, it's obvious classic Caillou has been out dealing drugs and getting stoned. And I wanna follow him tomorrow after school so I can call the police on him and his friends. That's a good idea. There is no way that smell of weed is just a coincidence. I mean, it's too strong in here. Yeah exactly. I can tell he's been out dealing drugs, because of how long it took him to get home, and his stench. I'm gonna follow him tomorrow, he won't know what's hit him.
999 what's your emergency? Hello, I need the police, I think there's some drug dealers here. Okay sir, we have your location here, stay there until the police arrive. Okay, thanks. You're all under arrest for suspicion of handling Class A and Class B drugs. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense when this comes to court. Hard luck boys, you've been caught red-handed. It's kinda funny isn't it? Follow me now. Classic Caillou, you seriously are a selfish idiot, I mean, did you really think you could keep up this act longer than this? When you came home last night, we noticed you stank of weed. So me and your father got suspicious, and he followed you home from school earlier. So it was you who snitched on us? Dad? You bet. Not exactly the best career move, is it? We're going home now, so I suppose we'll be seeing you when you get out of here, enjoy your stay. And don't come back and you can show some respect. Sham, can I use your bait? Um, sure. Thanks. Don't use too much though, I'm worried it might die. You'll be alright, it's still quite strong so it won't die for quite a while. Fair enough I suppose. I'm thinking about quitting this, not just for my health, but to save money. To be honest, same, I keep trying to quit but I just can't. I know right, at this point, I need to get me through the day. I agree. I get so frustrated if I don't have a vape. Same. By the way, what's your name? Name's Classic Caillou. Classic Caillou? That's an unusual name. I know, you see. My older brother is called Caillou. Even though we look like twins, he's a year older than me. So I guess that's where my name came from. I see. What's your name? It's Manji. I know. It's bad. I've always hated my name. To be honest, I've never met anyone called Mandy. I suppose it's a rare name. I suppose. Can I just say, you're a really good looking guy. Thank you. It's not every day a nice looking girl tells me that. Can I add you on Snapchat? Sure thing. Thank you for the bait, and thank you for giving me your Snapchat. It's no problem. I've got to go now, so I'll talk to you later. See ya. So, I met this girl over the weekend, I got her snap, and we've got a date this weekend. That's great bro, how did you meet? I was just chilling at the park, and she comes up to me and asks if she can use my vape. So I said yes and we started talking. Wow, I wish girls could approach me like that. I'm not as lucky as you. I know, it was so unexpected. So, do you both text each other every day? It seems that way. Does she text you good morning and good night? Ha ha. Oh stop, you're embarrassing me. I'm just messing with you bro, I'm happy for you. Thanks bro. So where are you planning on taking her on your date? I don't know, maybe the arcade, or a walk around town, I'm not too sure at the moment. Sounds good, hopefully you get a second date this time around. Yeah, not like last time where she dumped me over text after one date. To be honest, this girl sounds genuine. I hope so, I'm a bit nervous though. Don't worry about it, it's her loss if she dumps you. Yeah, I'm a Sigma male and everyone knows it. Exactly.
Hey guys. Oh hey classic Caillou, what's with the aftershave? Well, the thing is, I've got to date. Really? You're joking right? No, I met this girl at the park last weekend, we got on so we started speaking to each other on Snapchat. That's great to hear, does she go to the same school as you? Nah, she goes to a different one in the city. Well at least that wouldn't be awkward in school, am I right? Oh definitely, I wouldn't have to worry about people coming up to us all the time in school, making us uncomfortable. That's fair enough son. We're happy for you, and good luck on your date. Thanks guys. Hi, sorry if you've been waiting a while. It's okay, I've not been waiting long. You okay? I'm great thanks. How are you? I'm okay. That's good. Do you want to go to the arcade? Sure thing. Shall we sit here for a bit? Sure. Can I just say something? Sure, what is it? You're not like other guys I've been out with. In fact, I think this is my first proper date. My ex has always brought their friends with them. They don't sound good. Were they the kind of blokes who acted cool in front of their mates? They were. I don't get what I saw in them to be honest. Yeah. I went out with this girl once, and after the first date she gave me the elbow. Well, her loss is my gain. So, does that mean a second date? Of course, I've never met anyone like you, all my exes were pigs, and I know we've only been on one date, but I think I can see us getting into a relationship. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to see you again. Me too. I'd better go home now, thank you for a good day. You don't have to thank me, just text me when you get home. I will. Glad to hear, get home safe. You as well, I'll see you soon. Bye. So bro, how's it going with Mandy? Pretty good. I met her parents over the weekend. That's great bro. What were they like? They were alright to be fair. I asked Mandy if she wants to meet my family this weekend. So what did she say? Well, she said yeah, but she sounded like she didn't want to, so I asked her if she was sure, and she was like yeah, I just hope I'm not rushing her into anything. Nah, you've met her parents already, so she should meet yours. She might just be nervous. Yeah, I guess. Do you reckon she'll want to meet me and the rest of our friend group sometime? I don't know. She said all her exes used to always take her to see their friends, so I think she kind of wants to be alone with me a lot. I get that, but there's nothing wrong with going out with friends as well, as long as you both have time together. I'll ask her about it soon, but not at the moment. I want to take things slow. Okay. Hi, you must be Mandy. That's right. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Can I get you anything to drink? No oh, thanks. Cam. Can we go to your room now? You can go up if you want, and I'll follow you in a minute. Okay, which room is it? It's the second one on your left. Thanks, sweetie. She seems like a nice girl. She seems quite shy though. Yeah, 
She isn't shy with me, she's usually quite gobby. I'm sure she'll get used to us. I've booked a table at a restaurant in town for next Sunday, and there's a seat for Mandy as well if she wants to join us. That's brilliant, Mom. I'll ask her. You took your time, didn't you? Um, I was only speaking to my parents. Yeah, well, when you're supposed to spend time with me, you don't just decide to have random conversations with other people. You can do that at a different time. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't know that annoys you. I'll try not to do it again. That's what I want to hear. Can we watch a movie on your laptop? Sure thing. Actually, there's something I need to ask. Go on. My mum's booked a table at a restaurant next Sunday, and she said you're invited. Oh cool. So does that mean you're gonna join us? I'm not too sure. I don't know your family all too well. Is that a no then? If you don't mind, maybe some other time. That's fine by me. Awesome. Let's watch that movie. Classic Caillou, are you nearly ready? I think Mandy's calling me. Is it alright if I answer? Sure, but don't be too long. Hello. Hi sweetie, please can I see you today? But I'm going out with my family today, you know this. I do, but I just want to see you. Like, I'm your girlfriend, and we hardly see each other. We see each other every week, we text every day. Sometimes we see each other on a Saturday and a Sunday. But that's not enough, we should see each other more often. But I keep asking you if you want to meet after school, and it's always that you're too tired or have a lot of homework. I'm sorry about that. Please sweetie, come and see me, I need you. I can't today, I'm sorry. But me and my mom have been arguing, she really upset me. Really? What was the argument about? I forgot, I just want to be with you right now. Look I'm sorry, but I'm about to go out with my family. So you'd rather be with your family than your own girlfriend? That's not what I'm implying. Look, I'll see you soon, but not today. I need to spend time with my family. Fine, be like that then. But if you loved me, you wouldn't let your family come between us. But I do love you, and my family aren't coming between us. Please, just stop being like this. Don't tell me what I should or shouldn't be doing. Okay, I'm sorry. So you should be. Enjoy your meal. Oh, fuck this. Your food should be with you in 30 minutes. Thank you. Hey bro, do you wanna go for a quick vape? Sure. We're just going out for some fresh air guys. Okay, don't be too long. Thank you. I heard you and Mandy on the phone before we came out. Were you listening into our conversation? I heard a bit of it, it sounded like an argument. Did it? Yeah, have you two fallen out already? Well, I hope not, I said sorry for something, and she was like, oh so you should be, enjoy your meal, then she hung up on me. What was it even about? Well, she phoned me up saying she wants to see me, even though she knew I was out with you guys, I told her no, and she kept trying to make me feel bad for it. So she was guilt tripping you. I don't know what to call it, but she was going on about how I would rather be with my family than her, and that I don't see her much. That sounds like guilt tripping. I don't know, I just want to make her happy. Nah bro, you can't be with someone who guilt trips you all the time, it's a big red flag. I don't care. But you shouldn't be putting up with this. But I love her, and she loves me. Guilt tripping isn't love, it's abuse. It's really not that deep, 
It only happened this one time. Yeah, but it doesn't stop it happening again. Look bro, I'm just telling you to be careful. If I want advice, I'll ask for it. Suit yourself. Me and the rest of the friend group will be going out this weekend. They asked me to ask you if you and Mandy wanted to come with us. Sounds great bro, I'll ask Mandy if she wants to join us, if not, then I'll definitely come. Sweet, let me know as soon as. Will do. Hi sweetie. Hi love. How are you? Good thanks. Me and my friends are going out on Saturday. And they said you can come with us. Seriously, but I wanted it to be just us this weekend. I know, but me and you hadn't planned anything yet, and I haven't been out with my friends for a while. Is that my fault? Well no, it's just we have other things going on and it's rare we find time to go out. It's up to you if you want to join us. No, I think me and you should just go out. When does it have to be with your friends? Because they invited us, and I think it would be nice for you to meet my friends. Well I don't want to. Please sweetie, can we go out this weekend just me and you? Maybe Sunday, but not Saturday. So you're saying you'd rather be with your friends than your own girlfriend? But I've said you can join us, they literally said you're invited as well. But it won't be the same, you'll just be talking or having a joke with your friends, while I'll just be there looking awkward. It won't be like that at all, I promise. Yeah, well, I'm still not coming. It's obvious you would rather spend time with your friends than spend time with me. You know what? Have fun. Bye. For God's sake. Anyone want music on? Might as well. Agreed. These two lovebirds are driving me nuts. Oh shush. You should see yourself when you're with someone. Alright. I'll just go connect this to my phone. So, what's the latest with you and Mandy? Nothing much really. It's a shame she didn't come out with us today. Yeah. She's got this thing about going out with boyfriend's mates. It's something to do with the past but she hasn't told me everything exactly. Oh, sounds weird. Do you reckon we'll meet her eventually? Maybe, but, she's a bit possessive, she wanted to go out with me today but I told her I was out with you guys, then she started whinging about it. Oh, that's not good. Give her time, she might wanna meet you guys, and maybe she won't be as possessive. Yeah, let's hope so. What do you think you're doing? Mandy? Is that? His girlfriend. You two look cozy. Just like them too. Ugh, oh, I can't get this speaker to work. Oh hey, you must be Mandy, right? That's right. Fair enough. I'm gonna try and get this speaker to work. I'll be right back. Come on then. Tell me what's going on here. Nothing's going on, I promise. Then why are you both so close to each other? Because we're mates, that's all. I wouldn't take it further than that. Oh really? I bet she'd like to take things further. No way. You're so wrong there. I don't believe you. Look, there's no way anything could happen between me and Kim. That's what they all say. Okay then, explain how a lesbian and a boy can be more than friends. You what? I'm gay. So how could anything happen between me and Classic Caillou if I'm not even attracted to boys in the slightest? Exactly, so there's no need to get all jealous, and it wouldn't matter if she was gay or not, I still wouldn't date her because I only like her as a friend. Oh really? I didn't know my boyfriend has friends who are f***s. Excuse me? Was there any need for you to say that just now? Well... I think people like her piss me off. I have to walk around and see your stupid flags everywhere and it's just in my face all the time. 
Yeah well, maybe we're just sick of homophobic people like you defining what's normal and what's not. Oh, so you think you're normal? Alright, I don't care if you're my friend's girlfriend or not. You need to leave, you're just upsetting everyone for no reason. Sweetie, are you not gonna stick up for me? No, you were being mean to my friend for no reason, so I think you should go. Fine, I'm going. What do you see in her bro? I'm really sorry guys, it isn't like her at all. Yeah well, you can do better than her, that's for sure. I'm gonna go try talking some sense into her, and maybe get her to apologize. I'm sorry bro, but I think that's a bad idea. Hey guys, I managed to get the speaker working. Um, have I missed something here? What you did, back there, there was no need for it. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm having a bad day and didn't mean to take my anger out on your friend. Don't apologize to me, apologize to Kim. I can, she probably hates me now. It's not surprising though is it? I know, could you go tell her how sorry I am? I will. Thanks sweetie. Hey guys. Um, have I done something to upset you? It's not you, it's your girlfriend. Oh, about that, she said she was sorry when I went after her. Really? If she was sorry, then why didn't she come back and actually say it to my face, instead of getting you to do it? Because she was worried of what you might have done. Well she should have thought of that before being homophobic, and to be honest, I wouldn't have forgiven her anyway. But she didn't mean what she said. It's no good making excuses for her, what she said to Kim couldn't be justified at all. I know, but you could give her a chance, she isn't what you think at all, she's great with me. I'm sorry, I know she's your girlfriend and all that, but I'm not just gonna give her a chance that easily. You don't understand, when she's with me, she's really nice. Really? You were telling me the other day that she can be a bit possessive, and the way she was behaving towards me, I think she's more than just a bit possessive, don't you think? Can you stop chatting shit about my girlfriend? We're not chatting shit, we're just telling you what you need to hear, judging by what happened on Saturday, she doesn't seem like the person you make her out to be. Look! She realized what she said was wrong, and she said sorry. Well, I didn't hear her say it, to me, that's just a pathetic fake apology. Oh you know what, you both are starting to piss me off right now. I'm going. Oh hey bro, do you wanna hit? No thanks, I need to ask you something. Okay, what is it? I want an honest answer now, what did you mean by Mandy being a bit possessive, because that's what I got told you said to Kim. It's not that deep bro, I only said it as a joke. Kim was telling me that Mandy thought you were cheating just because you were both sad together. It's an easy mistake, some people look at things differently. It's not a mistake at all, Mandy shouldn't be thinking that because you're friends with girls you're gonna cheat. Tell me the truth, Mandy didn't want you going out with us on Saturday, did she? But bro, the weekend is the only chance we see each other, she just wanted to spend time with me, so I told her we could go out on Sunday instead. Okay, and was she alright with that? Well, she wanted to see me on Saturday, but I kept telling her we could see each other on Sunday. So, why Saturday? Why couldn't she wait till Sunday like a normal girlfriend would when her boyfriend is going out with his friends? I don't know. I think I do. 
she wants to control you, so she's trying to isolate you from other people like us. It's not that deep, bro. Do you even spend time with your family, or is it always with her? Look, it's none of your business. I'm trying to help you out here bro, I don't think she's right for you, she's just tearing you down bit by bit every week, and it needs to stop before it gets severe. You don't know her like I do. She's the only girl who has ever made me feel loved and safe, and clearly you haven't got a clue. No, it's you who hasn't got a clue. Look, I get that you like her a lot, and well, it is quite easy to miss the early signs of a controlling, and abusive person. Yeah yeah, I know where you're going with this, I remember you telling me about your mom's ex-boyfriend, but Mandy isn't like that at all. You've only known her for like what, two months now, you can't fully know someone by then. You're just jealous, that's your issue. Why would I be jealous? Because you're single and you haven't been out with anyone for over a year. That doesn't mean I'd be jealous of you having a girlfriend, heck. I was even happy for you at first. So why are you trying to split me and Mandy up? It's for your own good, you deserve better than her. Look, I'm gonna end up throwing you on the floor if you carry on chatting shit about my girlfriend. Yeah well, when it all goes wrong me and everyone else will just be saying I told you so. Just shut the fuck up and leave me alone. Fine. Is there something wrong, sweetie? You've been like this all day. It's just... I think my friends hate me. Oh, forget them. They're not worth it. I don't think you understand. They hate me because of what you did last weekend. But I said sorry, so why would they hate you, unless you did something to upset them? No, I didn't do anything. I even apologized on your behalf like you wanted me to. Great. It's obviously my fault. Yeah well, I didn't start anything, you did, I was literally out with my friends and then you showed up and ruined it, so yeah, it is your fault. Why are you crying? It's just the past repeating itself yet again. I'll get blamed, and never get given a second chance to prove I'm actually a good person. I mean, everyone makes mistakes, don't they? I understand if you want to break up with me, most people would. No, we can't break up over this, you're right, everyone makes mistakes. Really? I've never met anyone like you, you show me what love really is. Why don't we go out, maybe I can make it up to you for being a prick just now? Ah, oh, thank you so much, sweetie. That's a nice spot. Morning, guys. Good morning, son. How did you sleep? Pretty good, thanks. We're going to the movies this afternoon, and we've got you a ticket as well. We haven't spent time together for a while. Oh, I'm sorry mom, I've already made plans with Mandy. Oh come on, it won't hurt for you to cancel this one time and have a day out with your family. I can't just cancel on her last minute. Why don't you meet her after the movie? Maybe just have the evening together. No, we don't see each other during the week, so it's just better to spend the weekend together. That you can't just revolve your life around her. I mean, we never see you much, and I've noticed you don't go to the gym on weekends anymore. But that's how relationships work, isn't it? Well, it shouldn't affect other parts of your life, and it shouldn't be this serious either. You've only been dating for like over a month. Yeah, well, I love her and she loves me. You can't call it love at this stage. Well, it is, and clearly you two haven't got a clue. What's with the raised voices? Your brother doesn't want to spend time with his family, and why? Because of Mandy. Why doesn't that surprise me? 
What do you mean by that? Caillou, you don't have to answer that. Is there something you want to tell me? It's nothing, just leave it. Well, come on, what is it? I heard him on the phone to Mandy, it was a few weeks ago when we went to that restaurant. It was just before we left the house. I could hear what she was saying from outside his room, because he always puts his phone on loudspeaker. What was she saying, was it bad? Well, she was basically guilt tripping him, trying to stop him from coming out with us and instead go out with her. And then she got mad when he kept telling her no. You dirty rat. So that's why you can't come to the movies with us, because your so-called girlfriend won't let you. It's not like that at all. Does this happen every time you don't go out with her? No. I don't believe you. She's been controlling you, hasn't she? Oh for God's sake, not you as well. Oh, so even your friends have noticed it. But she isn't controlling me, she respects me. How can you say she respects you, she doesn't respect the fact that you have other things in your life apart from her. And as for you, why didn't you tell me what happened? I didn't think there was any need. Look, I tried to convince him to finish with her, but he wouldn't listen. So you just decided to stand by and watch that bitch control your brother bit by bit every day? I didn't know it would be this bad. Will you all just shut up and stop this? Actually, you know what? Give me your phone right now. I need to see what she has been saying to you, because it doesn't sound good. No way, that's private. You're not in any trouble at all, I just need to see what she has been saying, because I don't think she's been treating you right. She does treat me right, will you just stop making her out to be something she's not? Yeah well, if she's this amazing girlfriend you say she is, then you won't mind if your mother sees it for herself. No. Why won't you just leave it, you guys have no clue what you're on about, so just leave me alone, okay? Come back here right now, we have to talk. What are we gonna do? He's made his bed, so he can lie in it. I'm not giving up that easily. Yeah well, knowing classic Caillou, that girl will just dump him anyway, I mean, he's a troublemaker. Well that's really helpful. Do you wanna watch TV? Not really, there's something I need to ask you. What is it? Well, you know I love you, and you love me, right? Of course I love you. Really? Yes. Um, where's this going? Well, I was wondering if you've ever, you know, done it. Um, ah. Uh. It's okay if you haven't. I could be you first. Whoa, um, steady on. We've only been going out for like what, over a month? I don't feel ready. Oh, come on. You know you want to. I don't. Well then, maybe we could get in the mood. I don't want to. I've just said I'm not ready. You know you are. You just don't want to admit it. Come on, it'll be fun. Haven't you heard what I've just said? No, I don't want to. You do. You just need a bit of help. Get off my hoodie. Where are you going, sweetie? Come back. I think it's time we break up. Have a good life. What's the matter, little boy? Have you been naughty again? That was a good movie, guys. Thank you. You're welcome, Rosie. So, when do you think Cloverboy will be back?
We probably won't see him for a while, after what happened this morning. Um, I can hear classic Caillou in his room. I think he's crying. I'll go see to him. Are you okay bro? Has something happened? I broke up with Mandy. Really? What happened? Do you really want to know? Yeah, I might be able to help. Fine. We were in her room, then, she asks me if I'd ever, you know, done it before. So I said no, then she suggested we do it. I told her I wasn't ready. Then she kept on trying to convince me, saying it would be fun, even though I kept telling her no. It got to the point where she tried to take my hoodie off. Then I stood up and went to the door, and she followed me, then grabbed me. And I completely lost it with her, I pushed her. I pushed her so hard she was on the floor. I told her we were finished, and I left. Go on, I know what you're gonna say, I'm a woman beater, my life's fucked. No way, she was forcing you into having sex, what were you supposed to do? You've done what any person would do in that situation. Everything's gonna be okay now son. We're proud of you for standing up for yourself, it takes a lot to do what you did today. Please, don't beat yourself up about it, that bitch added coming to her. Thanks guys, that means a lot. Tell you what, why don't you come downstairs and chill with us for a bit. Thanks, but, I just wanna be on my own for now. We understand, and if you ever need to talk, we'll always be here. Thanks. Morning, Mom. Good morning, Classic Caillou. How come you're up so early? It's not like you. It's Monday, I have to be up for school. There's no school today, it's teacher training. Did anyone not tell you? Oh, I must have forgotten. It's alright, anyway, how are you? I'm alright, thanks. Good, how did you sleep? To be honest, I keep lying awake at night thinking about the other day. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I realize now, you were all right, she was controlling me, and I didn't see it until the other day, when she was trying to take my clothes off when I didn't want her to. At least you did the right thing. Did I though? I shouldn't have hit her. You were defending yourself, anyone would have done the same. I feel so stupid. I refused to see what kind of person she was, especially when she was mean to one of my friends one time. Well, you're better off without her then. Yeah well, I've let quite a few people down, me and my friends have fallen out over this. You can always make it up to them, this isn't exactly your fault, it's Mandy's, she controlled you. I'm hardly gonna forget am I, she's made me feel like a complete idiot. Stuff like this can happen to anyone, both men and women have toxic relationships. You can't blame yourself. I'm gonna go for a shower. Okay, son. Hey, bro. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. What about you? Pretty good. I'm going out with my friends now. You can come with me if you want. No, thanks. I hardly know them, and I don't think they like me very much. It'll be fine, bro. I'll tell them to be nice. Nah, I don't really feel like it. That's fine, maybe some other time? I'll think about it. Who could that be? What do you want? 
His classic Kai Yuin. Yeah, but why? An allegation has been made against your son. I need to arrest him and take him down to the police station to answer some questions. What's he supposed to have done? I'll tell you more when I see him. Can I come in? Sure. Thanks. What's going on, honey? He's come to see Classic Caillou. What for? You'll find out in a minute. Can one of you go get him, please? Okay. We meet again. What's going on? A serious allegation has been made against you. But, what? Classic Caillou Anderson, I'm arresting you on suspicion of sexual assault. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense when questioned. Something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say, may be used as evidence. What? He didn't do anything, he's the victim here. Tags what they all say. Come with me now Classic Caillou. It's gonna be okay son, we'll have your back, we promise. He'll be okay won't he? Of course he will, the cops will realize that evil rat is lying. I just hope so. Now then, talk me through what happened on Friday the 22nd of March, when you were at your now ex-girlfriend's house. Well, we were in her room, I asked her if she wanted to watch TV, but she said she had something to ask me, so I say, what is it? Then, she tells me she loves me, and she asks me if I feel the same, so I said yes. And after that, well, she became, shall we say, suggestive. So you got the wrong impression? What? No. It was her who got the wrong impression. Oh really? Enlighten me. She was asking me intimate questions like, had I ever done it, and if she could be my first, stuff like that, and I told her no, and that I wasn't ready. So why did she scream then? What? Her next door neighbor heard her screaming, can you explain that? Because she grabbed me, and she tried to take my clothes off. So I pushed her so hard she hit the floor and she screamed when I did it. I had to defend myself. Surely you won't hold that against me. Explain to me how that bruise got there. I don't know. I really don't have a clue. Well, Mandy told us when you tried to, you know. You punched her in the arm, and then ran away, as soon as she screamed. That didn't happen at all. So tell me, how did that bruise get there? I don't know. She must have done something when I left. And you really think a court would believe you? I mean, this isn't the first time you've used violence. You could be in the Guinness Book of Record for most violent kid in the city. So? What does my past have to do with this? You do realize you're being caught for this, and you could be in prison for years, as well as being on the sex offenders register. I already know that. Which is why I didn't even do anything. In fact, I wish I never met her, she's put me through hell, and it's cost me some friendships. Well this is about to cost you more than just friendships now. I mean, put it this way, no one likes sex offenders. But I'm not a sex offender. Well you'd better have some strong evidence to back you up in court. Because all the evidence we have against you makes you look guilty of charge. Here's what the P.O. is for now. You're gonna go home and you're to have no contact with your ex-girlfriend. No calls, no texts, no going near her house. Do you understand? Yes. And if you breach those conditions, then we will just simply place you in the cell until your day in court. Okay. A letter will be sent to your house letting you know what date you'll be in court. You're free to go. Oh thank god you're home, what happened? She's made me, 
look like an animal. Oh, come here. It's gonna be okay, son. No one is saying you're an animal or anything, because you're not. We all know what that horrible girl is like. But I'm gonna be in court, and then they're gonna throw the label at me. No, they won't. We're all gonna stand up for you, and show everyone what a horrible brat she really is. But she's got all this evidence against me. She planted a bruise on her arm, she screamed when I pushed her, and her neighbor heard it. So she's got all the evidence and I've got nothing, I'm screwed. We'll back you up son, and I'm sure your friends will as well. We'll tell them everything. We'll say what she was like and how it affected you. And the courts will eventually realize what she's saying about you is bullshit. I can't do this. Even though I got rid of her, she's still trying to ruin my life. And will ruin hers. Oh, it's you guys. We've heard what's happened and we want to help you. Can we come in? Sure. I can't believe you two want to help me, after the way I treated you. It wasn't your fault, it was Mandy's. Yeah, and you did the right thing in the end by breaking up with her. But I should have broken up with her that day she was being homophobic towards you. Then I could have avoided this whole mess. Don't beat yourself up about it. None of this is your fault, and we're gonna help you clear your name. But how? There's no evidence to back me up. Well, there is. Me. I'm gonna speak up in court and say what Mandy was like, and I will bring up the homophobia as well. So you've got nothing to worry about, because we all can agree what a scumbag she really is. I don't know. It might not work. It's something to work with to say the least, and I've got people to back up my story, so, that bitch is going down. Trust me bro, you got this, we'll all be right behind you. Thanks guys. Are you alright though? I'm just not sleeping good, I lie awake every night scared, and worried. You have nothing to worry about bro, the court will see what a lying scumbag she is. Court is now in session. Classic IU Anderson, you have been charged for sexual assault. How do you plea? Please say not guilty. Not guilty. Okay. The victim of the defendant sadly couldn't make it today because she is that disturbed by this whole situation. So she will give her evidence via a video call. That is such ball crap. Good morning Mandy. Please could you tell the court what happened on Friday the 22nd of March when you were with your ex-boyfriend? Well, it was just meant to be a normal day. Me and Classic Kai, you were just chilling in my room. And then at some point, he asked me to take my clothes off. Well it's a good I job she's no. not here, he or else I would have punched her in the face so hard that she'd no. never be over able to speak again. again. Then he pushed me into my bed, I asked him what he was gonna do. And he punched me in my arm and told me to shut up. Then I screamed, which made him make a run for it. Thank you, Mandy. Now, I've heard that you attend counseling sessions every week because of this dramatic event. Am I correct? Yes. What? Why does she need counseling? Thank you for clarifying that with us. We won't keep you any longer. So thank you for speaking to the court. Enjoy the rest of your day. So Kim, you clearly wasn't Mandy's biggest fan. What can you tell us about her? Well if I'm being honest, I heard my friend Classic Caillou had a girlfriend, so I was happy for him. And I wanted to meet this girl. So what happened when you did meet her? Well, 
We were all just hanging out in the park, me and Classic Kai were having a conversation, and then Mandy comes along and interrupts us. She makes it very clear that she is his girlfriend, because she had a go at me for talking to him, thinking that I had a crush on him. So I told her that I'm not even interested in him in the slightest, because I'm a lesbian. Then she became homophobic towards me. Calling me the F slur, disrespecting the pride flag, and saying I'm not normal. And what was classic how you doing? When my friend told Mandy to go away, she started crying. And then Classic Caillou decided to go after her and try talking to her. He really cared about her, to the point where we fell out because of that. She would do her best to control him, and isolate him, and he couldn't see it because he was blinded by love. Interesting story. But I don't see how that can stop someone behaving like an animal. What? We all saw what she was like, I just told you what we saw. Sorry kid, but your story doesn't prove that the defendant didn't assault his girlfriend. Are you fucking serious? Go and sit back down, or else I will have you removed from this court. You know what, this justice system sucks. Alright, will the defendant come up to the stand? Okay, classic Caillou. I have looked at your statement, and I need to ask you some questions. First, did you say she grabbed your hoodie with both hands? Yes. Okay. I have collected enough evidence to decide on a verdict, which will be tomorrow at 11 a.m. In the meantime, the defendant will be kept in a cell overnight. Officer Simon, come take him away. The poor guy, getting locked in a cell while that evil rat roams free. Hey honey, are you ready to go? Not really. Are you feeling alright? I just feel like we've let him down. If we were better parents towards him, he wouldn't have met that awful girl. To be honest, I feel the same. But, we've done everything we can to help clear our son's name, so let's hope it pays off. Yeah. I'll be in the car waiting. Well, today's the day. Yeah. Time to see the justice system screw up once again, put yet another innocent person in jail. You never know, the evidence Mandy has against Classic Caillou might not be enough to find him guilty. We can only hope for that. But judging by how the court treated the whole thing yesterday, I don't think they'll find him innocent, even though he is. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. All right, my jury has reached a verdict on which they all agree on, and they find the defendant, Classic IU. Guilty. What, you've got to be kidding right now, did you not understand a single word I said yesterday? Young lady, sit back down right now or else I will have you removed from this court. Classic IU. This court finds you guilty of sexual assault. Therefore, considering all the crimes you have committed in the past, I sentence you to life in prison, as well as putting your name on the sex offenders list. And you will be going to a different prison this time, which means you will be mixing with people like you in there, so enjoy your time. I'd get comfy if I were you, because this is your new home for the rest of your life. Enjoy it while it lasts, you dirty bastard.
that judge was a total piece of crap. They couldn't even be bothered to listen to our side of the story, so they just sent him down. I say we make an appeal. An appeal? How would we do that? We just get it into their stupid heads that our son is not a sex offender. It doesn't work like that, Doris. The only we could appeal is if we have any evidence that proves classic Caillou's innocence, which we don't. So you're just ready to give up on our son? It's not like I'm giving up, there's just no point. I don't think you understand what's going on. Our son is locked up in a place full of predators, literally anything could happen to him, and you're ready to give up? But we have no evidence to prove he's innocent, we can't just make an appeal right this moment. Yeah, well I think after all the years of how we've put him through, we owe him freedom at least. But we've done everything we can, even his friends have stood up for him, but still, the judge believed that brat over us. Yeah, well, if anything happens to our son in prison, could you live with yourself? Screw this, I'm going to the bar. Well don't come back wasted. It's dinner time buddy, you're allowed out. I don't want anything. The offer's there if you change your mind. I'm back. Is that classic Caillou's phone? Yes. And I think I've found something, something which can get us an appeal. What is it? There's a text here from a while ago, and it's from Mandy. It says that, she bought condoms, and she sent a picture of them to classic Caillou. This changes everything. Indeed. We have to show that to the cops, then they can question her and she'll have to tell the truth. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Oh, and by the way, I'm driving. Why don't you look at this, and then call my son a sex offender? Um, I'm sorry, Doris. I was just about to ring you and tell you some news. What news? Your son's dead. What? But how? He took an overdose of sleeping pills, the ones we give to inmates. I went to check on him an hour ago, and he was cold, lying next to a bunch of sleeping pills. I'm so sorry, but you're too late. I, I can't take this in. Do you know where he is now? A private ambulance took him just 15 minutes ago. That evidence you gave to me would have been enough for an appeal. I'm really sorry for how things have turned out. Let's go, honey. Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome you to this service. This service is for remembering the life of classic Caillou Anderson a boy who sadly took his life at the age of 14. Now, before we proceed to bury him, his brother has prepared a speech for us all. Classic Kai, you might have been a troublemaker, but the truth is, we all misunderstood him. Deep down, he was brave, he always stood up for what he believed in, and he always wanted to do the right thing, but didn't know how? I wish he was still here. We could have given him the right guidance, and it would have made him a better person. The events leading up to his death, well, he didn't deserve any of it. 
when he would stick up for his ex-girlfriend, it showed how caring and sensitive he really was. The sad thing is, a lot of us failed him, we failed him, the education system failed him, and even the justice system failed him. The only thing we can do now is pray, pray that his next life treats him better than this one. Thank you for listening.